It looked like the very roads we haven't seen since 2015 out there on Saturday. What do you think about that? Um, it felt good. Like I said, um, it's been a while since I've been able to get in open space and, you know, show that aspect of my game. You know, it's probably been about since, like you said, 2015. Um, so it felt real good. It felt real good. I, I always, I always um, joke with people because I always like, I don't know if I still got it, you know. <laughs> so it's always good to to go out there and, and make plays like, like um, people would say the vintage Larry. So it felt good. Just uh, after getting off to a good start, look, you have three straight road games. Like, I guess how do you just? Does a football team stay playing at that level of confidence that you seem like you guys are playing with right now? Kind of a road grind here coming up. Yeah, it, it is most definitely. You know, so um, that was one area we struggled in last year was winning on the road. But um, we went down to Albuquerque and got a win. Um, so we know that we can win on the road. It's just going to be all about um, the team focus and um, just getting the job done. You know, those, those ro road wins are – are um, tough just mainly because of focus. You know, you get into the uh, other team's home crowd atmosphere and, and, you know, stuff that you do good re on a regular basis, that's the stuff that starts falling apart. But as um, long as we have good focus, I believe we can go into these three road games and and um, and do what we do. I would think a lot of the times a road game, the boredom is something that you have to fight. I mean, obviously you're excited to play the game, but you have to yeah, that that that's a part of the focus, though. You know, you gotta understand that um, you can't rush time, so you just gotta stay focused and um, wait till it's game time. And when it's time, just execute and do what you've been doing all week of practice. So, um, what do you think about? You've had some decent games against the big teams that you played, like. Um, you guys, as a, as a whole, a lot of seniors, a lot of experience on this team. So, how do you how do you approach a SEC game this year compared to like previous seasons? I guess. Um, we approach them believing we can win. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't know if we all felt that way in the past, but um, now, like you say, with the age and the maturity, um, every game we go into, um, one thing that, that I've noticed about this team is we actually believe we should win the game, you know, and that, that's one thing that we lacked in the past is confidence within ourselves. So going into these big games, um, we believe that, that we can win and um, we just got to go out there and execute. Do you keep up with what's going on with the Sun Belt? Just who's doing well, who's beaten, who are lost to who, whatever? Um, no, sir. No, sir, not yet. I mean, right now, my biggest focus is, is us right now and, uh, and winning and I – I know that if we keep winning, then teams will be – and people will be worried about us. So we're not too much worried about what other people are doing. As long as we can go one game at a time um, and win some belt games, then, you know, we'll be finishing, you know, top whatever, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, I mean we knew that your offense would play well. Like, the reason I was asking is just defensively, you guys have climbed up in the middle of the pack in the Sun Belt as a lot of the defense. So I just feel like you guys should feel pretty good when you. I, I know you got Arkansas, mm -hmm. and you got all Sun Belt games after that. So like your defense is giving you a chance in the league, I think. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. And um, I know that if we can compete at a high level against um, Conference USA team, Mountain West team, and a Pac-12 team, then um, we should be able to compete at a high level when it comes to Sun Belt teams. So. Um, like I said, every, everybody in all all phases of the game, special teams, uh, defense, offense, we're playing really well. So um, come Sunbelt play, I'm excited to see um, how that turns out. What's it like sitting back there returning punts this year? Uh, it's interesting. It's something new. Uh, I know uh, Coach I, – I told Coach the first time he threw me back there at UNM, I was like, man, you couldn't have picked a better time to put me back there, huh? Because it was like – Three minutes left, game is close, and I've never caught a punt ever, you know. High school, junior high, nothing. I never caught a punt. So um, I was I, I laughed with him because I was like, you could have you couldn't have picked a better time to toss me back there in the fire, huh? But um it feels good. It it um allows me to show another aspect of my game that 
that nobody's seen. So um, we're going to keep working on it, and hopefully by the end of the year we can get one in the house. First thing is catching the ball, though, right? I mean, yeah. it's got to be a challenge. Yeah, yeah, it is most definitely, you know. But, I mean, once you get on the field, um, football is football for me, you know. So uh, it doesn't matter what I'm doing as long as it's – Football, I believe I can do it at a high level, so um, it's not too much of a challenge. Your first year, you were kind of the main weapon. One of <coughs> now you, there's Tyler's throwing 11 different receivers. You got Jason back there to do some, uh, to do some running. Mm -hmm. You okay with that, not being the only guy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know those, um, my first two years for sure were, were a grind. You know, I came from high school, which I was getting 10 to 15 carries a game to now 20 to 30 carries and I was, it was just rough it was just rough so um now that you have a whole team of weapons and guys that can just make it happen it feels good you know because um not all the weight is on my shoulders you know and and I know it has to feel good for coach Martin to know that he can dial up a play to anybody you know not just not just me um so it definitely feels good to have multiple weapons out there right, any more questions Ken, you all set? Um, no, sir. I think um, as long as we go out and do what we do and execute the things that we do, I think we'll be just fine, you know. Um, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter who you're playing. There's always going to be some guys out there that's bigger and faster than than um, you. So I think it just comes down to us doing what we do and executing everything that we do, and um, the rest will take care of itself.